Hello everyone, it's D9 here with Camerasharp.com. Big shout out to Rock Canyon Studios. We're going to do a tutorial today on Logic Pro X and how to get some video game sounds. If you've ever listened to my music, you know that that's one of my signature sounds. Right off the bat, let's take you to ESP, one of my favorite synthesizers. We're going to show you. We're going to start out with just a electro bass. It's not going to sound really much like a video game sound. But we're taking it straight from the bare bones just to show you how to build up that sound right from the top. Now I really like having the higher octaves when I'm building my video game sounds. That should do just fine for us. And now we really want to get these square waves up here. I want to bring in, just bring this one down a little bit. And we need to start building a sound here. Also one thing we really need to make sure we do is turn this frequency up. And right now we can hear that there's a little bit of attack and a delay on there. We don't really want that yet. So we're starting to get more of that video game noise here. You can see that we're really starting to get a lot of that video game sound coming through. You can add a little bit of noise if you want that Game Boy sound. Depending on how long you want your notes to ring out, the delay is going to give you a huge way to control that. And that really depends on the different kind of effects you're trying to get. that's going to sound a lot different than this will. So you can see there's a few different things you can do there. And even if you put a little bit of release on that. There's a lot of cool effects you can do, but Basically, the ESP is my favorite way to make those video game sounds. This is a short, quick, simple tutorial, so I won't go too into depth. But you have all the basics right here in this video that you can really expound upon and make all the sounds that you would ever want. And that would sound really cool over a dubstep or a house song, maybe a hip-hop beat, adding in some of your favorite video game sounds. And you can get the coin effects. There's a lot of cool things you can do. And in other videos, I will show you more in-depth tutorials about how to make rises with these sounds or how to make full melodies. I hope you got the basic idea of how to make video game 8-bit sounds or 16-bit sounds in Logic. Yeah, so you can see that there are a lot of different... If you're in a dungeon... really fun. You can have a lot of fun with these. Go ahead and make some cool songs and post them in the comments below.